my ranking was 300, 300 plus out of 320 in my batch. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's topic about how the entrance exam of the university in Japan works. I don't think somebody already discussed about the system of the entrance exam in the YouTube. The purpose of making this video is to explain that system because nobody know about it. You know, I already talked about my academic history in the previous video and then I realized that the system of entrance exam of the university is quite different from that of the Philippines. I think it's very unique and most of the viewers in my channel do not about this so I really wanted to share it to you guys. So of course I will include my experience when I was high school student. Let's start. So okay first of all I want to talk about the high school that I went in Japan. I went to the high school with high academic standard. School is top level in the in my area, which is Koka Prefecture, where I was born. And I fortunately passed the exam. I still remember that I was so happy and then I was very excited to go to that school. If I say if I say that I'm the student from that school and then people say like Oh, you are so smart. Some of my relatives are very proud of me because no one in my family passed that high school. I was so excited to study there, but when I attend a class or when I have a class in that high school, I saw sad reality because I was top level in the junior high school, but I was very, very low level in the high school. How low it was? My ranking was 300, 300 plus out of 320 in my batch. But you know, it doesn't mean I didn't study. I studied, but my batchmates were smarter than me. And some of my friends did not study that much, unlike me, but they kept getting the higher score than me. I kept the ranking around 300 plus from the first year of the high school student until I graduated. From the high school. A lot of friends passed a good university in Japan and some of them passed a med school in Japan and they now work in big company in Japan. Some of them became a doctor. That's the detail of my academic history. So this from now I'm talk talking about the system of entrance exam in Japan. Uh, this is the main topic of this video. So I'm going to talk about the most major way to enter the national university in Japan. So there are actually mainly two parts. One is national exam and also known as center exam. In Japanese we call it center scan. Exam is provided and all examiner will take the same question at the same time. And most of the high school students will take that exam. And another one, another one is university exam. So what does it mean? Each university will provide the exam. The question is very very depend on the college or university that you will take the exam. Student needs to uh, review based on the past exam because the university usually issue all the exam to clarify the level of the question or to clarify the question was okay to let the high school student to study. And actually you can buy the old exam in the bookstore. So you can actually study the trend or style of the exam in the specific uh, university, but you know, the same question will never come up. So I'm not, I already talked about two major parts of the entrance exam in Japan. So from now I'm going to explain the flow of entrance exam. So first uh, you will take the national exam and then you will know the score of a national exam and you will choose the university based on the score of national exam. So you have you really have to think about it because the chances are limited. If you pass the first term of university exam, congratulations, no problem, you pass it. But if you fail the first term of university exam, you will proceed to the second term of university exam and you really 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 have to think about it because you only have one chance and of course those who fail the higher level university will take the lower level of university 
because they also want to make sure that they will pass the entrance exam of the university. You can only choose one college in each term of university entrance exam. And there are also an another exam for private university between the national exam and first term of university exam. Let's talk about the worst scenario of entrance exam. So what if you fail both first term and second term? So you have mainly two choices. I think this is very unique in Japan. One option, of course, one option is you choose a university that you pass, either national university or private university. And then in the Philippines, most of you choose this choice. It's a second choice. Second choice is very unique in Japan. So second choice is to go to the cram school. What does the cram school mean? And the cram school is referred to as test prep school or it is very specialized school or to train the student to achieve the, their own goal, especially for the high school student to pass the entrance exam of the university in Japan. So actually I went to the cram school when I was junior high school student and high school student. And you study, you study there, uh, you study there by using the study material prepared by the cram school or and you can study the subject ahead of time or you can study by your own pace. So when I failed the best school in Japan, I was really think if I should go to the cram school or not. Because I failed the best school of and then, but I pass I passed the entrance of the one university but it was not ideal and it was not bad school. I I chose not to go to the cram school because I was really not confident to pass the bad school even I go to the cram school for one year. My score was barely far from the passing rate of the bad school in Japan and it was very low. I was not sure if I can increase my score up to the passing rate of the bad school in Japan. Because you know the going to the cram school does not guarantee you to pass the entrance exam in following year. It really depends on the student. And of course, another reason was when I was studying for the entrance exam of the university, I was uh, mentally broken because, you know, even I studied hard, uh, the good result did not come out to me. And in contrast, uh, my friends studied very hard too, and they, they got the higher score or high score in the exam. So I was like, maybe. I cannot do it again. I want to share the situation Talaga for the top university in Japan or you know the math related school in Japan. So like bad school or med school or etc. They are very high competition and especially the med school. So there are a lot of Japanese students who wants to go to the bad school and they decided to go to the cram school and they usually stay in the cram school for more than one year so let's say like you say you you pass the med school in the one year of staying the cram school i can say that's su successful and it actually my friend went to the cram school for more than two years to pass the med school as i say that you know my school was top high school in my area and I had a friend who passed the exam but he decided to go to the, the cram school to enter the higher level of university. It was weird for me. I was like, you know, are, are you serious? Because you pass a national exam but go to the cram school. So you know, student, uh, student from the high academic standard level of the high school are like that because they have like high pride and i think most of my friends who failed the entrance exam in japan chose to go to the cram school and of course many of them passed uh, the good university in japan in the following year but some of them failed some of them gave up during studying in the cram school and chose the university with a lower level yes of course you know you guys you know alam naman na most of the students of course wants to go to the good university in japan and because there is kind of hierarchy in Japan. They think once you go to the good university and graduate from the good university, their future will be secure. But I think the situation is changing right now. So I believe that it's really about the skill of the person, the experience of the person or person itself, like personality. It doesn't matter where 
you are graduated. In addition, and I believe that we have pandemic right now in the all over the world and the situation, the pandemic really changing the situation faster because people believe that the those who graduated from the good university, they think they are still secure their life, but their laptop company are broken down and it's collapsed. But now I believe that the people who can adjust to the new environment can survive. So actually, uh, you know, the old doctor say that actually he is Dr. Charles Darwin say that it is it is not strongest the species that that survive nor the most intelligence that survive. It is the it is the one that is most adaptable to the new environment. So that's actually that's true. It can reflect on my life and it can reflect on your life and it it can really reflect on the situation of the on the world right now Deva. how was this video i haven't watched anyone who discuss about this content so i just wanted to share system of uh, entrance exam in japan and I still have a very high academic pressure in japan and it's not mentally healthy and i also experienced it i was like maybe if there is no entrance exam yeah maybe i enjoy the school life or if i go to the another school middle level of I enjoy more because what i did was i just play basketball because i was i was belong to the varsity varsity team and after that i start i just study during the weekend of course i have game with another school so i went there you know i'm the only one who just newly graduated most of my friends you know they have good job they became doctor but that's fine I don't want to compare it. It's like meaningless. I don't need to compare it. I already satisfy my life right now. You know, I s took time to graduate from the university, but that's fine. That's my life. So this is the end of my video. If you like or if you learn something new from my channel, my this video, please put a like. And if you don't subscribe my channel, and please subscribe my channel. So thank you guys and thank you for watching and see you on next.